Hello everyone, hi and welcome to another Essential Stencil Live where we're going to show you some uh, fun spring craft projects today. Um, and I'm so glad that you're joining me. If you're watching the replay, you can comment the word replay and have a chance to win uh, a gift card from Essential Stencils within the 24 hours after we've gone live. And um, if you are joining me live, let me know where you're watching from. I'd love to know. And um, how's the weather in your neck of the woods? We are here in sunny Queensland, Australia, coming to you live for most of us um, who are joining the live. Most of you are from the USA. So hi, Amy, Teresa's here, Elisa's here. Hi, Mary. Um, so glad you could join us today. <clears throat> Just gonna find my live down here and where I can see your comments. Elisa says it's chilly here in Florida. Hi Lisa, hi Brenda. Lovely to have you with us. So I'm just going to catch you up with a couple of announcements while we're waiting for some people to join in. My name is Sharon Hankins and I'm from the blog I Restore Stuff where you can see all of my posts and blog posts about upcycling furniture and home decor, which I love to do. Now, one very important announcement. If you are on the email list for Essential Stencils, you would have received this info in your inbox tonight or today sometime. Speaking of upcycling, which I love to do, this Friday starts our, our um, I think it's almost annual now. We did it last year and it was such a success our upcycle challenge week. Now, not just one week, but two weeks this year. So that gives you a chance to get your stencils ordered or um, to use the stencils that you have and to paint your piece, stencil it, or use the transfers and join in the challenge. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. I can see lots of people jumping on now. So I will just let you know a couple of announcements first and then we'll get started on our crafts. I'm gonna be doing something on the back of my Hosanna sign that I did last week. So we wanna do something on the reverse of this. It's just a, what do you call that? It's just a, um, a bench sitter, I guess you'd call it, sign. And I'm gonna be using also this black piece of plywood that I've painted black uh, to create a beautiful Easter cross design using two stencil sets that I'll show you in a minute. But first, before we start, I wanted to let you know a couple of announcements which I've written here on my handy piece of cardboard that I'm offloading on. Hello. Yes, shelf sitter. Thank you, Joyce. A shelf sitter. Um, so first announcement is um, Essential Stencil have restocked some of your favorites. Now, a lot of people have been asking for these ones. We've got the, all of these ones are restocked. The Welcome Dogs stencil. Now, I just wanted to show you what I did a couple of weeks ago for our little puppy, Olive's toy crate. We did, I did this welcome, we hope you like dogs stencil on this crate a couple of weeks ago. So you can go back and look at Essential Stencils videos here on their Facebook page. I also put her name on it in stencil so you can see how I did that, but that's using the round, um, it's actually for a round door hanger. So that stencil is now back in stock. That was really popular. Uh, the other one that's back in stock is the damask pattern stencil. We've got the mushroom and fairy stencils back in stock, the whiskey set, and then the tall wildflowers. So if you were waiting for any of those, run, go get it. It's, the links are on my, in my description of the live right here. Um, also, the bonus gifts are still happening and they are unlocked when you place an order of $65 or $90 um, on the Essential Sensor website. Don't forget to use my code, I restore stuff for any of Essentials transfers, stencils, brushes, anything on their website. You can uh, get yourself another 10% off. So the bonus, <clears throat> the bonus um, gifts, which are unlocked when you place orders of $65 and over, you get an extra brush set. That's great, isn't it? And for $90 and over, you will still, they still have some of these on offer for the, for those as a bonus gift is the welcome to our pad stencil set, which I did last week. And this is, it's a layered stencil. So if you missed last week's live, check that out. That's our welcome to our pad layered set. That's a bonus gift when you order more than $90 worth of essential stencils stuff. And you can use my code I restore stuff to get you 50%, uh, sorry, 10%, 10 off on that. So I just wanted to mention those. Now, the first thing I did mention here was our upcycle challenge starting this Friday. 
and it's going for two weeks so that you've got a good chance to upcycle your piece, use some stencils and use the hashtag ESUpcycleChallenge2024. But I've got a link in my description of the live right here of how you can join the special Facebook group. There's a special Facebook group, yes, just for the challenge so that you can upload your pictures there. But also, if you didn't want to join the Facebook group, you can just hashtag um, ES Upcycle Challenge 2024 and they will, that will come up and they will see your posts so that you can enter that for a big prize giveaway. Let me see what the prize is. I believe it's a huge gift voucher. Da, 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 da. Just looking. Win a shopping spree, $100 essential stencil shopping spree. So you could be in the running to do that, but all the details are at the link that I've got right there in the description of the live. Um, and perhaps Essential Stencil is posting that there as well in the comments. So there's our, yes, that's what I'm going to be doing today. So Essential Stencil's posted some of the um, stencils I'll be using today for our live is the tiles, the sunflower tiles. And I'm going to combine that with the Easter spring crosses. Now I'm going to do something really different with these crosses using two of them. I want to see if you can maybe guess what I'm going to do. I don't know if you will, but I thought I saw it in my head. I'm going to see if it works, so stay tuned for that. The other thing I wanted to do was use the back of the Hosanna sign that I made last week. So let's get started on this one first, and then I'll show you the what I'm going to do um, with the crosses. Mixing and matching a little bit this week, as I love to do. Oh, thank you, Tammy. She loves the Hosanna sign. I love it too. So I'm going to be using this one, Grace, Gratitude and Grit stencil set. It comes in a set of six. The links are right there for all that I'm using today. And I'm going to use the Welcome to Our Coop um, sign that's in that. But this one, I'm not sure if it was out of stock at one stage, but I know that it's back in stock now. This is the Life. I love that also. That would Any of these signs would fit on my on my signboard, there's Country Blessings, which is very cute. And grab the other two here. No, three. There's six of them all together. Say Grace. Cute. Grace, Gratitude and Grit, which is the name of the stencil set. And Farm Charm with a gorgeous little sunflower down the bottom there. So some of these flourishes, you can use those for other stencils. Combine this with that flourish instead of using the one that you see on the top of Country Blessings, for example. So if you know uh, my style, I love to mix and match my stencils up a little bit. So we're going to mix a bit of stenciling and transfers today. And I will be using the Silky Chickens transfer to add some cute chickens on, the, on this. Now this works for a great Easter sign as well as just a year-round stencil. Oh, I better put this on the back the right way. Not that it matters because it's a shelf sitter and I'm going to be sitting it on the shelf either this way or this way, but it probably doesn't matter if you're turning it <laughs> around that way. I just think we'll we'll turn it this way and we'll use Welcome to Our Coop on there. So let's get started. And uh, hello, April, and Janet's here from snowy Colorado. Lovely. I love seeing where you're all uh, tuning in from. I will mention those things that I mentioned at the beginning as people start to join and join us from... Uh, you know, partway through the live or whatever, I'll be using my painter's tape today. We will need the scissors for the transfers and we'll need our little transfer tool. So this is the stencil I'm going to use. Welcome to our coop. I was trying to decide whether to put it in the centre and chickens either side or put it on the side and have some, um, a bunch of chickens over this side. So let's have a look at what we've got with our chickens here. Hi Cindy, Shannon, Ella. Thank you so much Ella for sprinkling and Cindy. Amazing, that means that they're just sharing our live out to their Facebook feed so that um, others can know that we're live right now doing a craft. Oh, there's little flowers and everything. I've cut some of these out already as you can see, but each transfer set comes with two, set, uh, two complete sheets of transfers. Some are usually larger like this one and some are smaller so that you can use them for so many different designs. Okay, so <clears throat> I'll get this sorted out first. So even these little things, sometimes I don't realise 
what all there is. And you think, oh, it's just chickens. No, there's little egg baskets, which would be cute for Easter also. So if you don't have those, grab a set of these. Now the transfers are single use, so you can just use them once, um, as opposed to the stencils that you use over and over again. So these are just like beautifully painted watercolor images. It's got the gorgeous silky, I was gonna say silky oak, it's not. <laughs> silky chickens um, so you just see which ones kind of fit on your on your sign like this one's going to be too large but I do like where did I see that this group of little three little chicks down the bottom here let's see what they look like on the stencil they are the silky chicken transfers are just adorable so what I like to do is I'll just cut around some of these and see how they fit then once I've worked that out, I'll start with the stencil and doing the stencil. So what I'm going to do, this would fit completely on there if I wanted to leave this chicken up here, I could. But I'm going to center the words here and tape off the chicken at the top and just use these. So let's see, if I put them in the center, I probably couldn't fit my little chicks. But maybe I could do the chicks and a group of eggs. And it would be like a welcome sign Where's the eggs and the nest? Let's see, some eggs, they're similar design, but they're a little bit larger. So let's have a look at the larger eggs on this one, for example. And look at little bits of grass that you can add here and there to your chickens. I could add some of those. Um, to add the greenery, I could. So then I'm thinking about, maybe I'll do the, um, the words black so that they stand out nicely. But let's have a look at some of these little grass sprigs here that are just too cute. And see, some of these I could just add up here on the welcome or add this down here on the line. Could do all, ki all kinds of things. I'm just looking over at comments to see what kind of things you're thinking of doing on your, on your signs. Um, so uh, yeah, we could add the chickens I think the eggs are cute down the bottom, but maybe they're a little bit too big and out of um, proportion to the chickens. So maybe those are better. Could do a whole little scene here. What do you think? Or should we just leave it with, welcome to our coop with the chickens and then add some little bits of grass or it's a gorgeous little flower here with some tiny little pebbles and rocks and things. You can layer them and add that inside there to the chickens. What do you think? I'll have, I'll have that tipped up a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm thinking here. Large chicken and one chick. Oh, is there a large chicken and one chick somewhere? Oh, there's this one here. There's this guy here. That would fit. We could do that also. Uh, let's see, others over here. Oh, that one's gonna be too large. <coughs> There is this group of three also, but they are probably a bit big. So let's have a look at the one with, there's a white one and a brown one. Hmm. Let's see what the large chick looks like. There we go. And that's got some of those little, I do like that. Then we can add a little flower down here. We could add another rock to this side of the sign to just kind of even things out a little bit. What do you think? Is there room for a mama in the background? Yes, so here we've got a mama in the background. If I added three, it probably wouldn't fit. Well, unless we put a mama. This, see how there's just so many options. You could add the mama and the three chicks. So there are a lot of different options to do. Let's just leave it with that one for now. I'm gonna tape my words here. And um, after this sign, after I've done this sign, I'm gonna be doing a beautiful Easter crosses sign, or Easter sign using, well, I'm gonna put one cross on the sign, but I'm also gonna use the beautiful sunflower tiles that is in the Easter collection. Now the crosses and the Easter tiles, the, um, sorry, sunflower tiles are on pre or, uh, available for pre-order now. All of the Easter collection is available for pre-order. And the spring ones. I believe people have been getting their spring stencils now. 
Hands up if you've received your spring stencil already. Tape over the chicken on the stencil since it's not the same kind of chicken. Yes, Laurie, that's what I, you read my mind. <laughs> that's what I'm doing now. So I'm going to put a little bit of tape here because I'm sort of just placing that. And then I'm going to get my black paint. So I'm using coal black. Oops, just bumped it using coal black here. Now I've pre-stained the surface the same as I did my Hosanna sign over there from last week. So if you want to see how I used paint to just use as a whitewash, you can go and check that out there. <clears throat> using my cardboard here and an essential stencil brush. Don't forget if you order over $65 worth of essential stencils, you get a free brush set, a bonus brush set. Now you can never have too many brushes because sometimes you'll use them for different colours. Um, also, if you use my code, I restore stuff, you'll get 10, save 10%. Okay, so I'm adding my blob of paint onto the cardboard, then I'm going to work my paint into the brush bristles, and I'm sort of offloading a lot of the paint at the same time, because you definitely don't want all that paint on your brush to go on your stencils. So checking that that's straight now, We've got some little lines down the bottom. I like to go over my lines long ways. And then the rest of the words, I do sort of like a swirly motion to get the paint into the stencil. Now, if you had too much paint on your brush, this definitely would not work because you would swirl that and it would go all underneath and create lots of fuzzy edges on your stencils and you don't want fuzzy edges. so. Um, best to have less on your brush and that's why we offload it onto this piece of cardboard right here. You can use a paper plate or something like that. Hi Barb, thanks for saying hello. Yes Joyce, the brushes are awesome. Uh, they really do allow the paint to get all in the bristles and load up but then you can sort of dry them off to the perfect amount ready for stenciling. And the key to good stenciling and sharp, nice, crisp edges is to have less on your brush. So every now and then you'll see me load it up again, but I'm always offloading it as soon as I have loaded it up. You're kind of working it into the bristles and then get that line there. Depending on your paint also, so I'm just using an acrylic type water-based paint and this is a furniture paint that I use here in Australia. I stock it as a fusion stockist. I stock it a fusion mineral paint. But you can use any craft paint, acrylic type paint for yours. Okay, so we've got the sign. Good to go. Welcome to our coop. And so I'll show you that. We've got nice crisp edges. <coughs> and so now we've got a regular all multi-season sign we're, we're working on and um, to go with on the reverse side of our Ho Hosanna sign that we made last week. So now I can move those and then clean off my stencil, but I'll do that later. And this one is from the Grace, Gratitude and Grit collection, which has six different sayings. And you can use my code iRestoreStuff and there's a link in the description of the live or in our pinned comments will um, take you directly there. Now with our transfers, we've cut out this one. You just have to remove the white paper backing. Really easy to use. And so we've got a nice clean surface, works great on wood, painted surfaces, glass even. Um, I've even done it on a cap, a peaked cap. I have a ponytail cap that I put a sunflower transfer on. So we're just going to add this little chicken over here. Uh, let's pop it there. Once you've got it in place, don't move it because the surface now is starting to stick. And then we're going to get our little tool. You can use any kind of credit card. Sometimes I've even used my thumbnail to rub over the top of the plastic. And that's going to make that image adhere to the surface. So 
So don't be too shy or too timid or too worried about using your transfers. Just give it a go. It really is this simple. Sometimes we will get comments. Let me see. Is there anyone here who's got your transfers but you're just too scared to use them? We want to encourage you today. What is the problem? What are you having trouble with? Let us know if there's any um, questions you've got about transferring or stenciling. Pop them in the comments. We do have a lot of people here who are very experienced, uh, who watch our lives, and some who are newbies. If you're brand new to stenciling, let us know that too. We do have some prizes going at the end of our lives, so we'd love to... Um, We'd love to give you a chance to be a winner of some gift cards at the end of our life. So you can see now I'm just removing the plastic, clear plastic backing from on top of this transfer. I could probably just remove it all, but I'm just going really carefully just in case there's any image that's still stuck to the plastic. And if there is, you lay it straight back down and go over it again. But I think we've got them all off. So the plastic is clean. There's no little bits left over. And the image is all right on there. And it just looks so cute. Added to the end of our welcome to our coop sign. And I think I might just add a little bit of grass or some little rocks. We're going to add a flower. We could add a flower down here. That's cute. You could add these to anything, couldn't you? I'm going to add it in the foreground so that you can layer the transfers. Oh, there goes my pop. My daughter just left to go out, and so she feels like she has to tell everybody. <coughs> Sorry for all of those who are watching with dogs, and she's just now probably caused your dog to think, what is going on? Okay, so there we go. We've got another transfer down. I'm just going to lift that straight off because I've rubbed it all down. And there you go. You can see that we've layered the little flower is just over the top of the chicken. So you can layer the transfers on top of each other. They do just go right on top of... of um, look, let's just add to get a bit of continuity going with our sign. We could add a little posy over here. The rock. Maybe this one. Or a, fl <coughs> or a flower. Oh dear. Now that's my husband's home, so the dog's barking again. <laughs> she was being so quiet today. Just gets a little excited. You can add these little um, images all over the place. To any other sign, it doesn't just have to be this one. You can use it for other signs, other stencils. You wouldn't even have to have the chickens. Look, you can just use eggs and flowers if you wanted to make an Easter stencil. So add those little ones to your Easter collection. And um, I think they look very cute. I feel like I just need one more little piece of grass down here somewhere. Maybe just... Just there. So easy to just add a little embellishment, let's call them. So these transfers are called Silky Chicken transfers. If you're looking for those online, don't forget to use my code, iRestoreStuff, but you will find them at the transfer link that I've popped in the description of the live. So then I'll just seal my sign with some um, Tough Coat Sealer. I sealed this side that I did last week. So we've got our Easter themed or Palm Sunday themed Hosanna sign there. And then we can just flip it around for this. Is, I'd say that's like an all year round kind of theme. But you could also, it could also be Easter. Like I said, if you've got the beautiful colored eggs there. Next project I'm going to do is with our Easter crosses. Oops, I forgot to put my brush in a wet cloth. And now that's going to be drying out and that's not good. So we don't want our brushes to dry out. All right, there's our first, first project done. So sometimes when I've cut out several of these little transfers, I'll go ahead and cut the entire lot out and put them all in a Ziploc bag and then they end up being, you know, as small as the largest transfer. Put them in a zippy, zippy bag and um, 
oh, like this one. See, I did this with the farm. Oops, I did this with my farm transfers. These are in stock too, you know. This is the farm on the farm set, and I actually cut out the cardboard on the back of the transfers and then put them in a little Ziploc bag, and they're ready to go for your next project. You can just quickly look through them. All right, setting these ones aside. So that one, the stencil I used was from the um, Grace Grit, what is it called? <laughs> Grace Gratitude and Grit sign set. Next one I'm going to work on is this little board here and I want to use, I want to use the crosses and I want to use these gorgeous spring sunflower tiles. I haven't even opened this yet. So let's have a look. It's a three pack of sunflower tiles. And there's three different designs, so you're going to have to p help me pick. Um, Robin's asking, what's the size of my wood sitter? I did say that last week, and I can't remember, and I didn't bring my ruler. But it is, it's smaller than a ruler, so it's probably maybe 11 inches, I want to say. It fits the Hosanna on it, that's what I know. And um, this width, I don't know, about two and a half inches, and then, I don't know, five maybe uh, yeah but if you I can have a look at that later oh Laurie's got your tiles are on the way these tiles are so cute so we've got this one and this one I don't know how to describe them differently for you to tell me which ones you like but look at that this is so cute so this is what I'd like to do is combine them oh almost layer those on top of each other I wonder um, this is what I'd like to do I'd like to use this combined with the cross so we can put the cross in the center but I want to do something different with the cross so we could use two different tiles here yeah let's do that why not so this fits three tiles beautifully so this piece of wood oh you're going to ask me how long how how long my piece of plywood is aren't you someone's going to ask it <laughs> go ahead ask it <laughs> I don't know but these tiles are six inches okay so if you for example got so that's the the um, when they say six inches it's from the top of the stencil to the bottom so obviously a half inch or so is around the the sides here so if you really wanted them close together I would say um, five inches by five inches uh, but if you would like them to just have that little gap in them, then you can sort of just make your wood to fit. But I never make my wood to fit the stencils. I always find wood. This is part of my upcycling that I do. Find wood, cut it to around about the size of a that would fit a sign. Uh, sometimes I might cut it to the stencil size, but very rarely. So. All right, so there's our different stencil tiles, tile stencils. They are slightly different. This one's got more flowers around. This one's got mainly leaves around it. This one's got the inside as well as a couple of flowers. So really great, beautiful design ideas for, um, for the tiles, okay? And then I wanted to use this cross in the center. So that fits perfectly in the center of my um, sunflowers. I'm going to do that there. But I see the cross set has three different styles of cross we've got this gorgeous one here as well as this one with the flowers around it and then this one has the flowers through it oh well it's actually just the flowers by themselves in the shape of a cross so I would like to combine these two I want to put the cross down and then I'm going to and I tape off these and then I want to lay the flowers on top and have that bright um, cross in the background so we're going to try and do that today. So first of all, I'll do the cross second. So don't go anywhere. We'll do that. But I want to sort of get this in the right position, which I think I have, these two tiles. So we've got our tiles in the right position. And I'll tape that down. So oop, it's one of my hairs just hanging out. And then we'll start on these. Now, I'm going to just do those white to start with because white is such a you know it's just a polar opposite to contrast on the black and I'm just using um, fusion mineral paint again and I will 
add that here. So uh, Essential Stencil is popping those links in the comments, but if you also afterwards you can go to the description of the live and you'll see them, all of the thing, products I'm using today, a little supply list there for you. Even the brushes, I've got them there as well. Okay, so I've just offloaded my paint again and I'm going to just do a swirly method to get these tiles on. My paint is a little dry today, so I should have sort of just added, so the water-based paints, if it gets to the very bottom of the pot, which it's hardly got any left, they do tend to dry out a bit and so you do you do have the ability to rein, reinvigorate the paint, reactivate the paint by just adding a couple of drops of water. But I feel if I did that now, I can't really because I if you have if you dip your paintbrush in water, it will be too wet. We don't want a wet brush. So that's a, another tip that I'll give you. If you've got, if you've washed out your brushes because you want to change colour and do a different colour, uh, I strongly suggest you make sure they're completely dry before using them again. But if I did have a damp cloth, which I forgot to get beside me here, I could just sort of dampen the brush a bit. Could you get me a damp cloth? This one there, thanks. I'll get Marty to get me one. Because usually my brush will cover a lot better than this. Um, oops, I do have it taped down. I don't know if you can see that. It's just sort of not covering as well because my brush isn't, the paint's sort of not wet enough. I think that this will be a lot better. So all I've done, is I've dipped the brush, oh there we go, I've got a damp cloth and now see if you can see the difference if I hold this up. And now it's giving a lot more, a lot better coverage. So you can see these uh, white ones down here compared to the white ones over here. It wasn't covering very well so there's a little tip for you. A little bit of experimenting, um, but that's just something I've kind of learned over the years of stenciling, is if my paint gets too thick, too dry, you either need to fix the paint first before you start your project, or you can just add a little bit of dampness to it, to your brush. Getting a big blob of paint, and I pop that down on the cardstock. So if you're new to stenciling, offloading is key. Now we've got these little dots in the centre. And then I'm going to start with my cross after I've done these tiles. I'll start with the cross base and then I want to add those flower, the flower cross on top of it. I can see it in my head how it's going to work. I still need to wet that brush again. There we go. It just it uh, travels <laughs> travels across the stencil so much nicer and smoother when I've got that little bit of extra moisture on that. There we go. Hopefully, I haven't had um, added too much onto the brush, and that it gives a nice full coverage look. Okay, so let's have a look at that. Oops, we might have some little bits of fuzzy edges on there when I added a lot of it from a distance. Look how great that looks on the, on the black, white on the black. Now let's go ahead and do this one down here. I will turn that so that it's a bit closer to me. And I've got this larger section in the centre here Offloading into the middle. 
When I've got a large area like that, I like to come in from the sides and then I'm going to go ahead and do these larger petals from around the outside of the sunflower. This is the sunflower, uh, what is it called? Sunflower tiles. Beautiful as backgrounds for designs or even borders for a really large sign. Can you imagine these all around? A tiled border around a beautiful welcome sign or something like that. Look, I've, um, I've taped over the, the edge of the stencil. We don't want that. I want to see all the beautiful stencil. Kathy says, I love black and white. And so does Elisa. Yeah, I do too. It's a really nice contrast. And um, so the part that I'm going to add colour to are the flowers on the cross. I might need a bit of help deciding. I've got yellows, I've got greens, I've got a, a, a greenish, it's a pastel green. I don't know what you would call it. It's a bluish green, maybe. What colour should we do the flowers? What colour are Easterly, Easter lilies are white, aren't they? But they're not necessarily all lilies. There's r roses in there, I think, on that the floral on this cross. I don't know. Can you point it? There's some, maybe they're poppies or pansies, these ones. And then there's roses, I think, in there. Nearly finished our tile here. And then we'll go on to the cross in the middle. Can't wait to do that. So the first cross I'm going to do is the the solid cross here. So what I'm going to have to do with that, oh no, not that one, I'm going to use this one. And then I'm going to tape off those flowers and create a bit of a background for my flowers on the inside of the cross. just thought it would be a great Easter sign. And when I found this piece of board, oh, okay, you're telling me colours, greens, pastel pink, yellow, oops, I didn't bring a pink out, which would have been a nice idea too. Nice Easter colours. The little pastel type colours. Maybe, maybe I can mix it with a couple of colours. Do like a blended look or something. I'm never completely um, solid on what I'm doing when I come onto my lives. I always have a, an idea and then a lot of times I love that you guys work with me <laughs> on on what I should do, so that's amazing. So like a collaborative effort here today. Okay, so I'll wash these off later and I just use a bit of uh, awesome spray to get those washed off. Now I'm gonna add the cross to the center and I'll show you that closer. So that one's got a solid, so they're two different tiles right there. And then I see that our cross, so I wanted to use this one because this has flowers covering the base of it. I'm going to use this one because it's solid and it's going to fit right there just beautifully. But let me first get, I'll just wrap this brush in a cloth because I'm going to use that in a minute. And I want to tape off my cross where it's going to be, uh, where the flowers are so that I don't accidentally stencil these flowers. I want to stencil some different flowers. I'm going to have to cut some more tape off for this one maybe. Around about that much. So this is the Spring Crosses set, beautiful for Easter, but again, you can use these all round really, couldn't you? Because it's not just Easter, we're celebrating that Jesus died on the cross. Well, for me it isn't. It's an all year round thing. <laughs> okay, maybe just a tad more on these. So if you use the tape, you can tape that off. And now we've got just a single solid cross. You could use that for other ideas too, <clears throat> other projects. And I can imagine some of the transfers that Essential Stencil has, 
beautiful transfers would look great um, on the cross as well. I just wanted to also mention that Essential Stencil does have back in stock the vintage butterfly transfers. Can you imagine some of those beautiful transfers at the base of the cross? And also we've got these uh, vintage postage stamps. So don't forget to use my code I restore stuff and you can grab those uh, while you're getting other Easter and spring stencils as well. Okay, so I've centered the cross now around about the center of both of the tiles. I want to get some more tape and just make sure that's going to stay there. <clears throat> Someone just asked, how do you get it so crisp and clean looking? Um, and that's the key that I was showing you earlier with the offloading your brush. So that's the tip to getting it crisp and clean looking is offloading the brush till you've got hardly anything. I call it a dry brush method because it's practically dry once you know you can go like this and barely see it on your hand and then you know that the brush is dry enough to use for this. Uh, this cross has got lots of space in the center here so I'm going to do a nice solid background or cross. Um, oh, I did see another question there and I was going to answer that too. Oh yes, someone asked, can you stencil over the top of the transfers? And the answer is yes, I've done that before on some of our lives, is place a transfer down and then put the transfer over the, uh, the stencil over the top of the transfer. <coughs> All right, so this one, we've got a lot of paint on the brush because we've got a lot of area to cover. So I'm just gonna come in from the sides instead of doing that swirly method next to the cross. And remember, this is just going to be the background because we've got some flowers going on, but you'll be able to see that white cross in the background of your flowers so when I do the flowers on top. I did place them on top to see if they would sort of line up and fit there, and I'll show you in a minute how it'll work, but um, I think it's going to be a great match. Okay, we've got our paintbrush offloading it. <coughs> Someone missed the beginning. Yes, it's just a piece of plywood. So just thin plywood cut to a nice long length. And it was only because I was just cutting, and it was just probably an off cut of some that I was cutting up for other reasons. And I don't like to throw off cuts away. I like to stencil them and make signs out of them. So. I was probably even, because I do a lot of furniture painting, uh, furniture painting, yes, and restoration of furniture and painting old pieces. And you can find a lot of my furniture tips, furniture painting tips and techniques on my website, irestorestuff.com. And there was a piece that I was doing that was missing a shelf. And so um, I added that, I added some plywood, created a plywood shelf, and then I get off cuts like these. And so instead of just throwing them away. See how I just dampened my brush there? And now I'm sort of swirling this in and instead of having some um, blotchy bits, it's kind of bringing that all together a little bit more cohesively. So this is our cross background and it's not completely solid. If you wanted to really nice solid look. You could go back over that again with a second coat, but right now that's all I'm going to do because I think it'll be fine for our, what we're doing and it's kind of given it a bit of a vintage look. <coughs> Remove that tape. Now this is the spring crosses set. And it looks great just like that, doesn't it? And we could have used the cross with all the florals beside it, but I wanted to use this one from the set, which is just the plain florals, and I want to add that to the top of the cross. So where I'm going to place it is, um, if you did try and center it to the beam across the cross, it would come up a little high on the base of the cross and a little over here. So I'd like to center it this way, so I'm going to move it down slightly till it's just centered <coughs> on that part of the cross. And I'll show you this in a minute when I've taped it down. But it will, it will sit the flowers across the beam 
just slightly lower than the beam, but it still makes it nice on the top. It's almost like that they're hanging on the cross there. So that's how I'm going to set the flowers. And I want to use a nice pastel -y colour. And um, oh, thank you, Lisa. And so I have got a couple of different options here. So because it's black and white, we've got nice, straight, neutral colours to add to. I've got a yellow and I've got this bright colour green called Laurentian. It's a fusion mineral paint colour. <coughs> And I think I might just do a blend of both. Might even do sort of start at the top in green and then finish off yellow down the bottom. What do you think? You love the green? Somebody loves the yellow? Yeah, the green is beautiful. Or maybe it'll be mostly green and then or what we could also do is, you know, blend it from one side green and another side yellow centered green outside yellow oh so many things green 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 the mint green everyone's loving that green we'll start with that uh, let's see <clears throat> i could use a smaller brush three quarters let's see we've got a half inch here maybe i'll use the half inch brush Get another half oops we've left this one half inch there as well just in case i need it in case we decide to add the yellow. All right, so adding a bit of green. We've got lots of green on the cardboard there, but I'm going to turn this over and offload that again. Oh, blue would be nice too. Yes, green with little shades of yellow. That's what I'm thinking. So I might just do the whole center in green and then put yellow coming in from the edges on the outside. So this is the cross uh, spring crosses stencil set. So I'm coming all the way down the center of the cross with the green and I'm just going to leave the edges. So it's going to be a bit of a blended thing, I think. Now, if you wanted to, if you weren't sure about your design and this is, you know, going on a, a really special signboard that you don't want to wreck, I would practice first on a piece of cardboard or something similar so that you've got your design idea all paced out. It really doesn't take a lot of paint. Um, it's really <clears throat> good to practice if you're really unsure about where your piece is gonna, if, if it's gonna sit. So I'll show you up that, that up close. I haven't colored in all of the flowers. I've just done the center of the cross. You know what, it'll probably look like, you know, bright light coming. Green, maybe that represents life. I'm just making this up on the spot. I have no idea. Um, but green could represent life. And then, you know, the bright yellow coming out the sides could just represent the light of the world. Jesus. Uh, let's do, <clears throat> I've still got white on this brush. I'm wondering if I do that, if I do use this yellow, it'll make it a little bit slightly more pastel, which is nice instead of using a completely clean brush, you know what I'm trying to say. So if I, this is a very bright yellow, it's called Little Star by Fusion Mineral Paint. Let's see what this looks like. If it's too pastel -y, <coughs> let's put it on a dark surface. If it's too pastel, I can go with a different brush. I'm trying to get some of that white on there, but it's still gonna, it's still gonna have a nice solid yellow color. <clears throat> all right, so that should be enough to get me all around the edge of the cross. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where will I start? Okay, so I'm going to start just doing the edges. And I'm just going to meet up with where the green's at. So it might blend slightly. Can you see that? Hopefully it's not too far away for you. And going all the way around the edges. Hopefully this works out. And that bit of um, yellow lasted all that way. So see how you hardly need anything on your brush? And I've just created that nice solid yellow all the way around the outside and it blends into the green. I can't wait to see what this looks like. How about you? Because <laughs> we just made that up on the spot. Um, let's 
let's see, I think we need a little bit more. I can see where there's a bit of white of the cross underneath. And you will still see the white of the cross. I think it's going to create a nice cross background there. And I'm just making sure we've got all the white covered for the stencil. And then you'll see the white where the stencil parts are underneath. Hopefully, hopefully my idea has worked out. Let's have a look at that. Just putting that brush in the wet cloth there. So remember we've just used this cross with the flowers on it, but I taped off the flowers on this one to create a nice solid cross. So if you needed a solid cross for something else, there's one idea for you. And then I layered that with this. Let's have a little look. <laughs> Thank you, Joyce. <clears throat> the suspense. Let's see how that turned out. Not too bad. So we've got a blended floral look on the cross. And you could choose some darker colours to make that really stand out on there. But that's the idea. So, And you can see how that cross just sits slightly lower and the, so the flowers kind of hang on the cross there. I like how that turned out. You could even sort of do a shadowy look if you wanted to stand out more. Uh, you could do a little bit of a shadow on that. So that's kind of cool. I'd, I would probably experiment with that a bit more and maybe just use some more colours that might stand out darker against the white, but yeah, I'm liking the idea. Whoops, I've just gotten a big blob of yellow on my elbow here. But there we go. That's our uh, sign making for today. Don't go anywhere though, because we're going to pick some prize winners for our live and you'll go in, uh, you will win. A is it a $20, $25 gift card? $20, I think gift card for essential stencil. So here's what we worked on today. And if you want to do any of these ideas, all of the products that I use today are uh, right there in the description of the live. We did do Welcome to Our Coop. <coughs> and um, I will pop up here to say hello. And thank you, Dorothy, <laughs> for all the hearts. So we've done this one today. We did the tiles. So this would even fit three tiles down, but I loved that we could just use that cross there. Then I could get some, you know, rope, tie some rope and just have it like a little hanging sign for Easter or for year round. You could do that. So yeah, I would probably have loved that, the flowers on the cross to stand out a little bit more from a distance, you know. So if I was to do that again, maybe a little bit of a shadowy technique behind it first. But yeah. Diana, if you missed the first beginning part, um, go back and catch the replay and also comment the word replay for a chance to win a prize in the next 24 hours. But let me recap what I told everyone at the beginning. I've got my notes all painted over here. Um, the upcycle challenge starts on Friday. Now this was so much fun last year when we did it. So grab anything, like you could imagine, what would you upcycle? A stool, a step stool or something. You could upcycle a chest of drawers. You could upcycle, put stencils on it. Anything that you want to upcycle might be something that you found at a thrift store or it might be something that you already have around the house. I have upcycled old canvases before and just painted over them, done a nice stencil design. You can also use the transfers and um, all of the details for the upcycle challenge are right there in the description of our live today. Um, there's a page that you can go to. Use my code, I restore stuff at all of your essential stencil um, purchases. There's the bonus giveaway if you reach uh, $65 or $90 in your cart. And um, they are some fun giveaways. So let me see, did we get some winners? <clears throat> Good on you, Kay. She's going to work on the upcycle challenge. And it goes for two weeks this time. So from the 9th till I think it's the 23rd of February. Again, the link is right there in our description of our live. <clears throat> Let me see if you can um, tell me if you're seeing winners. No winners yet. There they are. I see them now. We've got Lisa, Sharon, great name. Lisa, Sharon and Laurie. So Laurie Armstrong, um, you haven't been tagged there, but if you see Laurie, let her know in the comments that she has won. Email support at essentialstencil.com. Let them know that you're a winner on Sharon's Live today and you can get a $20 gift card. So Lisa McMillan Kessler and Sharon Wonder Raven and Laurie Armstrong. You're our winners today. Thank you so much for joining me for this fun craft. Um, share the live. Let your friends know there's still a chance to win on the replay. And um, I will see you next week for another live DIY. See you. Bye.